We've just arrived in Italy, it's 9.30 in the morning, and you can't even see out the window. And today we're meant to be driving two of Lamborghini's fastest cars. Let's hope it all goes to plan. Housing just 7,000 occupants, Sant'Agata Bolognese is a gorgeous Italian town in Italy's north. It's best known around the world as being the home of Lamborghini. We finally arrived at Lamborghini headquarters in Italy and it's just unbelievable. That's right, Alvors. And over the next two days we'll be driving these two amazing cars, the Superleggera and the Spider. So let's go. Beneath the eyes of every single Lamborghini staff, we drove out as slowly and carefully as possible. Finally, Australia has arrived. Two days, two Lambos, this is what it's all about. I wanted to drive the Spider first, not only because it's beautiful, but driving around the fashion capital of the world with no roof? How can you say no? First things first though, I needed a pair of Italian sunglasses to go with my ride. While Alborz is inside looking for a new pair of sunglasses, let's check out some of the exterior features of these cars. Up the front here we have a set of massive carbon ceramic brakes. Jump on the anchors and they stop the thing on a dime. Up the back it's the same story except there's an extra caliper for the handbrake. Around the rear of the car there's a carbon fibre spoiler which adds extra downforce. And this thing is incredibly light, I can lift it with one finger. And under here of course you have that lovely 5 litre V10 that pulls this thing like a wounded bull. Over on the other side of the ring with the spider. It's also optioned with carbon ceramic brakes. They're the same size as the Super Legita. Up front, the tyres are 235 wide, and at the back, a massive 295 set brace the rear. On the top here, there's a canvas roof, negating the need for any fancy folding hardtop, which also saves weight. It still weighs 1,570 kilograms, which is 240 kilograms more than the Super Lightweight. It also has 8 kilowatts less power, but you know what, I don't mind, because for that extra weight, you get a folding roof, a beautiful red leather interior, comfortable seats that anyone can fit into, and best of all, you even get a stereo with satellite navigation, and this magnificent suede steering wheel. Well, I have my new sunglasses, so let's go for a spin. Guys, I'm sitting here in the Gallardo Spider, and although there's a super Leggero in my previous Quintero and it looks absolutely stunning, I have to say this is probably my favourite. You're just driving around Italy with the roof off. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Well, I picked the Gallardo Spider first because I actually think cooler car, it looks better, everyone looks at it, no one's going to look at that orange weird thing, this actually looks cool, you put the roof off, it's the lifestyle car, so I would probably actually go with this one. When it comes to cars, they don't get much more exciting than the Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. The thing is an absolute rocket. There's carbon fibre everywhere inside the cabin and your seat belt is in the form of a four-point harness. The interior looks absolutely stunning. There's a suede finish all over the dashboard with yellow stitching in between. The roof line's also suede with a yellow stripe signifying the Super Leggera colours. Paul is probably saying how much faster that car is, but this isn't exactly slow. I mean, just, just listen.
382 kilowatts of power and 510 newton meters of torque, this is one seriously quick convertible. It goes from 0 to 100 in just 4.3 seconds. Elbows, what did you think? Yeah, it drives quite well, but I love a steer in a super legera. Give it a shot. My god, I may have been wrong. Yes. The Spider is nice, but this Super Legera is just mind-blowing. I adore this thing. It's so aggressive. Just look at it. But then you get inside. There's no messing around. You get the very bare essentials, and that's it. This is one serious race car. What a Lamborghini has always been about. I've jumped out of the uh, Gallardo Spider into the Super Legera and I wasn't really expecting this much brutality for a start. It takes about a minute to put on this harness and as cool as that is, you probably get sick of it after probably five or six days, but it still really holds you in, which means you can go a lot faster than you can probably go in most cars. This Italian bad boy goes from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in just 3.8 seconds and you can really tell the difference. But best of all, it feels so much more nimble than the spider, and that's what I love about it. But it's not exactly the most practical car in the world. I mean, just have a look at this. Remember, bring a few mates along to get you out of sticky situations. That shouldn't be hard. And as daunting as this looks, the car behaves extremely well, even at low speed. You simply press a button and the front rises to give you that much needed extra clearance. Lamborghini has managed to save weight is by using carbon fiber pretty much all throughout this car. The entire door is carbon fiber. All here is carbon fiber. There's no speakers in this car. There's no stereo. But do you know what? I don't actually miss it because when you want to listen to something, you just have to do this. Oh, doesn't that sound good? When it comes to handling though, this is the car to pick. With the standard Gallardo, you get just a little bit of understeer almost around corners, but this thing is a bit of oversteer and almost a four-wheel drive drift. And that's exactly what you want because it's a lot more fun. Okay, so Elbows and I have just switched cars and I'm driving the Spider now. And I've got to say, instantly I feel much more at home. I no longer feel like I'm driving a full-blown race car. Here you have creature comforts such as sat-nav, radio, CD player, and decent seats that are really comfortable for long-distance driving. Open up the taps in the Spider, and the thing sounds absolutely incredible. Do that in a tunnel and your ears won't stop ringing for two minutes. The noise is just amazing. It sounds like a true sports car should. As gorgeous as the convertible spider is, our favourite is the Super Legera. Long live the Raging Bull.